um, the president today on the world stage, as you know, uh, discredited the Mueller investigation at the same time accepting at face value, um, you know, Vladimir Putin's uh, view about the report, his pushback. Did you agree with, I believe it was John Brennan from former CIA director, that this walked up to the line of treason? Or so, maybe crossed it? So to me, it's outrageous that this country has been attacked. And this is not a partisan thing I'm saying here. This is the intelligence communities as a whole saying we've been attacked. You add to that the fact that even the Senate intelligence community, in a bipartisan way, not only confirmed the attack, but talked about the severity of it. So this is a man, Vladimir Putin, who, is, who has attacked our nation. And most recently, Mueller came out with a dozen Russians, high-level government Russian officials, who would not have been doing this without the knowledge of Putin. So the fact that the president even had this meeting today, palled around uh, uh, with uh, a leader who is not a democratically elected leader. This is a leader who, had, who kills his enemies, has people killed, who's linked to poisoning of people in, 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 in Britain, in England, who has annexed Crimea, who is involved in ongoing hostilities uh, in Ukraine, who has attacked our nation, who has attacked other countries in, 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 in cyber attacks. He, this is not a person that should be validated. This is not a person that should be given equal footing in some way with the President of the United States of America. And so what this president has done, it to me is shameful. It's just shameful. Treasonous? Um, it, 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 let me finish. And for him to deny this investigation, to me seems self-serving, because he is the subject of an ongoing criminal investigation that has led to over, over 80 charges for, to over 30 individuals and organizations that has already led to five guilty pleas, and one person has been sentenced. And a whole bunch of those folks I just named are not just 12 Russians over in Russia. They're people swirling around his orbit, people from his campaign and high-level people from his administration. And so this president, it, not only is his behavior shameful, but his behavior is also, also indicative of somebody who has something to hide or is guilty of something, as opposed to somebody that wants to get this investigation going and get to the bottom of what actually happened. His reluctance to essentially validate what the intel community says about the hacking of the election. What does this say to you about the administration's ongoing commitment it is, it is, to maintaining the integrity going into the midterms, it, not just nationally, but also here in Jersey, where a recent House committee report ranked us in the top tier of the most vulnerable states I'm because the, of no paper backup? Yeah, I'm going to let the governor comment on, on the severity of the attacks on, on our state and, and other states. Um, but just understand, what, what does it mean when the President of the United States will not defend his country against the attack of a foreign power? What does it mean that when that foreign power attacks, that he is willing to sit down and, ha and deny that the attack happened and, and buddy up to that leader on the world stage? What does it mean when a, when a president does not take every step necessary to defend this country? That even when the president is given bipartisan tools, the Senate approves sanctions, <laughs> that even Nikki Haley announced that, that it was going to be put on, but that he refused to even put on the sanctions on the country that has attacked us. And this is presidential malfeasance. It's, it's commander in chief dereliction of duty. And every American should be outraged right now by what we just saw in Europe, where the president had harsher words for critical and essential allies of the United States of America than he did for someone who has attacked our country and our NATO allies. I would just very briefly say we're, look, we're looking very seriously at the uh, security of our voting systems in New Jersey, and more on that uh, later. Uh, but I would just say as much, not just as much as a governor, as a, as a former diplomat, an ambassador to one of our great allies, uh, the Federal Republic of Germany. The, the, the behavior of the past week is just jaw-dropping. Uh, and, 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 um, and the attack on, on institutions, which are, which historically have been uh, nonpartisan in terms of the support or bipartisan in terms of the support, 
uh, and also sort of beyond beyond reproach uh, in so many respects. Uh, that, that we will pay a price for that. Our country will pay a price for that, um, and um, and uh, and that's it. Doesn't need to just doesn't need uh, to be to be that way.